Do you want to know how protective hairstyles are actually damaging your hair and not protecting it? Mmm, like really, am I the one to say this because I have one right now, but is it really a protective hairstyle? So, stay tuned to this video and check this out. <music> Welcome back to my channel if you're tuning in for the very first time Please take the time to like and to subscribe somewhere over there and you can finally call yourself a LaVentia hey. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hey, let's get into this video Okay, LaVentures for us to actually understand What is this protective hairstyle and all that? I think we have to take it from the top and start with the definition What is this protective hairstyle? What is it so that we understand and educate ourselves so that we know whenever we are Manipulating our hair. What are we actually doing? Are we helping it grow? Are we preventing its hair growth because I've, I've, I get this question so many times How are you growing? your hair and there's some mistakes that I have done and uh, researching about this has taught me so much and now I know where to go from this so number one a protective hairstyle is basically anything that helps you tuck away your ends your ends are the oldest part of your hair so they need to be protected because they are more prone to breakage so a protective hairstyle should take away your ends and it helps you um, uh, minimize the manipulation that you are doing to your hair. That's step number one. Know the definition of what is this protective hairstyle. Hey LaVentures, the second thing you need to know is the benefits of a protective hairstyle so if you do the protective hairstyle correctly there are benefits to it so that's why people encourage you to do protective hairstyles yet most of us are doing it wrong so it's actually doing the opposite of protecting our hair so the benefits firstly is that when your hair is in a protective hairstyle it's firstly low maintenance this means that there's less manipulation that you're doing to your hair which means that there's a, a, a higher chance of it reducing the breakage that your hair goes through right another thing is that when you do your protective hairstyle right it retains moisture and it retains length and for our hair our hair is very fussy like i must say our hair is very fussy so you must take care of it like a baby so you must make sure that you are gentle with it and you are not doing too much doing too much can actually damage your hair so that's why putting it in a protective hairstyle reduces risk of you doing too much then you doing too much leads to actually breaking it i hope that makes sense let's get into why you are actually watching this video how are you not protecting your hair with the protective hairstyles you are doing firstly uh, number one mistake that we do is apply too much hair tension guys hair tension is not good for 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 your scalp period period like you can't run away from hair tension and i know growing up i always used to believe that the tighter the braid the longer it's gonna last and the better it looks so somebody might say like girl what's going on here like you know but now i do my braids like this because i am protecting my edges that's why my edges are not running away from me because i'm not doing my hair too tightly my hair they, it still can breathe like you can see my scalp is protected so hair tension is the number one cause why your your protective hairstyle is actually damaging your hair and I, I need you guys to know that every single day you shed about um, 60 to 100 um, strands so think about if you are pulling on your 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 entire scalp you are actually um, motivating your hair to shred more there's a difference between shredding and breakage breakage is when your hair break like let's say let's use this break breakage is when let's say your hair breaks right here then it's it's part of your hair strand so it breaks randomly at a random place and we are trying to also reduce that so if you do your, the uh, right protective hairstyle and you do it properly you are reducing breakage so randomly just breaking here and then shredding is when like now 
your hair comes out from your roots which happens normally as i said 60 to 100 strands each day you shred so that that's that's a good that's a good amount your hair is supposed to shed because there's people like oh my word no my hair is coming out you can reduce the amount of hair that's growing um, um coming out um by doing stuff right so that's why most people's hair don't actually grow because they are losing more hair than actually the amount that hair, hair normally grows i hope that makes sense so yeah you don't want your hair to shred more than it should and you don't want it to break more than it actually should and when you protect your hair you are making sure that the split ends you are reducing that we don't want split ends and to maintain that you must cut your split ends i think you know that by now cut your split ends Another mistake is that we are keeping in our protective hairstyle for far too long. Far too long, guys. Like two months is a long time. Like the actually the average that they say is the right amount. You have to keep in your ha the protective hairstyle just for just for two weeks. And I usually do that. And if I'm I'm pushing it, I aim for three weeks. But I know that like the reason why um back in the days I used to keep it in longer. Money, like guys, getting your hair is expensive. We must be honest. Like box braids and twists, it's expensive in the store. So just imagine you're going to pay five hundred and something. Um um in the hair salon to just take it out in two weeks that's not realistic let's be honest so that's why i had to learn how to do my own hair so i'm saving money and yes it may take longer so i'm not really saving time but i'm saving money and i get to do my hair the way i want when you are in a hair salon do not allow them to add heat make sure that they add water they make you add water and that helps your hair stretch so then they braid the hair not um ha add heat that's another reason why our uh if you're not protecting your hair imagine you're going to the hair salon to go and blow your hair to put it in a protective hairstyle that doesn't make sense because heat damages your hair and now you're putting it into a hairstyle and the other problem is that we are not moisturizing our braids our twists and all that the whole point of a protective hairstyle is that you are limiting um, manipulation but it doesn't mean you are limiting moisture so when you do have hair, a hair like this make sure that in your spray bottle you mix water and a leave-in conditioner and i showed you in my other video of of um, the 12 hacks how to make your own leave-in conditioner if you can't afford leave-in conditioners so basically water plus your normal conditioner voila spray that on spray that on so that your hair is still getting moisture and nutrients to actually go so that's the whole point you are meant um, 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 protecting your hair but you still moisturize your hair and another thing yo my black people people that grew up like me um like yo something that we've been lied to you do not you see basing you don't have to base i always thought i was like no you know we must base you must base you must base no it adds so much build up and also your hair produces natural um a natural oils and an oil sebum something like that so that is there to moisturize your hair there that's why you must add more moisture for your for your ends because it's the oldest part and sometimes the sebum doesn't travel fully to the rest of your your ends and i was like oh my word i've been basing most of my life but i ended it because my hair gets so greasy when i base so i'd rather not moisturize but also that was wrong so i was like okay what must we do so as i said leave-in conditioner is bay it's bay it's bay it's bay, bay. leave-in conditioner and water spray spray your hair will be fine but when you base hair when you base basically that oil is going into your hair follicle and that um, um oil just stays there and this prevents your hair from growing so your aim is to always moisturize your hair and not your scalp and i know Oh, that sounds funny i was like what no this is goes against what i was taught no do not moisturize your scalp yes um like for example when i pre poo i make sure that there's a lot of oil on my scalp and i just massage it but the reason why i do that it's because i'm gonna wash off the pre poo i hope that makes sense so i'm still giving it nutrients but i'm getting i'm washing it out so it doesn't get stuck in my hair follicles preventing my hair from growing I hope you are catching this train. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm preaching to myself, sister. I'm preaching. I'm preaching. Um, but yeah, those are stuff to, to, to do. 
Protective hairstyle can also limit the ability for you to clean your hair. So that's why I advise you, as I said, don't um, moisture base. No, don't, no basing of scalp. You are making it your scalp dirtier at a faster time. And then there's going to be product build up when you take out the braids. And also when you take out your braids, take them out properly. And if you want something that can help you, first moisturize your hair with water and leave-in then take out your braids so that you are not breaking your your hair and another problem is that people take out their hair from protective hairstyles and then they brush it out never comb your hair when it's dry you are breaking your hair and you will never see your hair at its ultimate length never do that never 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 do that another problem we are adding extensions that are heavy Stay away from heavy extensions. Use extensions that are light and airy. And when you you feel them on your head, you are your head is not feeling as if it's bigger than the one that God has initially given to you. So yeah, the best protective hairstyles are the ones that you actually don't ex add extensions. So you do this, you must do this once in a while. And you see, I, I'm doing this this month. Um, then I'm not going to do this for the next three months. I'm going to give my hair the a, a breather. Do not do hairstyles repeatedly, repeatedly. After this, you add this again. You are damaging your hair. Never do that ever, ever again. Okay, lastly, I'm going to tell you the hairstyles that you are best that are protective hairstyles. Twist, but not every night. Don't do twist every single night. No, 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 no. And when you sleep, even in your braids, please wear something to protect your hair. It doesn't mean now it's in braids, now it's ha. Huh, you are still causing friction with your hair. And now there's more friction because there's another product added on to your hair. So the best protective hairstyles would be twist. But not every night as i said not every night this thing of stretching your hair every night you don't need to your hair does not want to be manipulated every single time let's actually start appreciating our shrunk stage like i've seen that almost most of most naturals um tend to always be stretching their hair thinking that because it's nice to see your length let's be honest it's nice to like oh my hair is here but then shrinkage comes and water comes your hair is this size and you're like ah but learn to love that because shrinkage is a right is the right indication that your hair is actually um a very healthy and when i shrink my hair you guys can see the coils and the elasticity is so great that shows that your hair is super healthy but if you are constantly constantly stretching your hair you are actually limiting that ability of of, of extreme healthy hair i don't know if that makes sense so not every night don't do scond or whatever that thing that, three braids and don't do that every night Another good uh, um, um, protective hair is Bantu knots. And when, if you are deciding that this week I'm doing Bantu knots, that's the protective hairstyle for the week. That's it. That's it. No other protective hairstyle. It's either you wear it for three days and you leave it, um, your, your hair in its natural state for the rest of the week. Don't every single day it's a new hairstyle, it's a new protective hairstyle. You are damaging too much of it damages i know it sounds so weird too much too many protective hairstyles damage your hair so be careful your hair does not want to be manipulated it's a baby love it the way it is those curls coils that it forms it shows that it's healthy love it the way it is another one another i'm just trying to think of other yes cornrows you can do cornrows but don't keep it in for too long and do bigger ones uh, um, bigger sections so that you can actually um, moisturize your hair while it's in the cornrows so thinner braids run away from it thicker braids run towards it that's the ultimate thing and if also with extensions the thicker the braid the better but not these heavy extensions that we are adding they are pulling on your hair that means pulling on your hair strands pulling on your hair follicle and then increasing shredding as i said so yeah that's basically about it and yeah love your hair in every state and enjoy um your your protective hairstyles but be aware of how it they can actually damage so do them right don't add heat before them and you'll be just fine just fine Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please do take the time to like and to subscribe and have a blessed day. Thank you so much for the time that you took to watch this video. And thank you for the constant support. Bye.